Prime Minister Tong Sin Tamawong yesterday told provincial and district authorities to make full use of local potential to boost agricultural production in Burkamsai Province, Kamka District. The Premier gave the instruction as he concluded his tour to the central province to give guidance on socio-economic development and the implementation of the party's newly initiated Three Builds Directive on the Devolution of Power. He suggested the authorities identify potential crops to encourage local farmers to cultivate for sale to improve their livelihoods. He asked the officials to pay attention on guiding local farmers to grow organic cash crops after learning there has been a high demand for the organically grown vegetables in markets. <laughs> The Prime Minister recommended that crops and animals that are resistant to cold weather should do well in the region, considering its cooler climate and considerable rainfall. The authority suggested creating investment-friendly environments and approaching private investors to do agribusiness. In this regard, the Premier said the government is ready to facilitate such an investment to introduce an investment-friendly climate and draw investment into the sector. Prime Minister Tong Sing instructed the provincial authority to work harder to secure markets for farm products grown by local farmers and investors. He told local authorities of the need to maintain law and order and social security in order to create a favourable environment, conducive to socio-economic development. On this occasion, the provincial authority briefed the Prime Minister about socio-economic development that had taken place in the province. As of August 5th, the province has collected more than 227 billion kip representing almost 90% of its yearly plan, while the province's spending reached 241 billion kip. This year, the province harvested more than 130,000 tons of rice, which represented more than 502 kilograms per person per year on average. Almost all the villages in the province are accessed by roads, but only 268 villages, or about 84%, have road access throughout the whole year during both the dry and rainy seasons. So far, 274 villages representing 91.80% of the total are supplied with electricity and up to 92% of the 45,158 families live above the poverty line.